Hey guys, my name is Dean. Welcome to the Yoga Vitality program from Body by Yoga. In this video, I share the first part of level two from the program. And this is our Yoga for Seniors or our Chair Yoga program. We've got different variations in here for all fitness levels. So you can stay in a chair or you can stand and do something more advanced. Enjoy the routine. And if you're looking for more info on getting the full program, stick around at the end or check the link in the description. Enjoy. Hello everybody and welcome to Yoga Vitality. This is routine number two. In today's routine, we are going to focus on movement. So we're gonna focus on moving your body, doing some dynamic movements, doing some reps. We will always have a seated modification. So if you want to remain seated for the entire workout, you are able to do that. But if you'd like to make it more challenging or if you'd like to stand up for whatever reason, we will have modifications where you're standing as well. Remember to breathe deeply, be aware of your body, and do your best to have proper technique. We're gonna get started with some seated dynamic side bends. If you have a strap, grab your strap. If you don't have a strap, you can also use a towel or a dog leash or any sort of object like that. If you're not as mobile in your shoulders, I'm going to have you bend your elbows and get a wider grip. And if you don't wanna lift your arms overhead today, you can always keep your hands on your hips or at your sides. Inhale to take it to the middle or remain in the middle to start. And as you exhale, lean toward your right. Inhale back to the middle. Exhale toward your left. Keep this up on your own pace. As you're doing this, I want you to squeeze your arms back as far as you can. So this is more than a stretch. This is all strengthening your upper back. You're going to feel your hip muscles working here as you push down through your feet. And you should feel your core working as you lean from side to side. This is a really nice exercise for warm up because we're getting a lot of mobility in or working your core, getting your shoulders and your upper back turned on and it's just a really nice mobility exercise in general. One more to the left. Back to the middle. And then go ahead and release the strap down. Moving into some dynamic twists. Bring your hands behind your neck. If that's uncomfortable, you can also keep your hands at your sides. Inhale to get ready. And as you exhale, bring your left knee up. Twist toward the left. Inhale back to the middle, stick with the left side. Exhale, twist to the left. Just keep this up on your own pace. So our goal here is to strengthen your core and we're also working on twisting, which is really important for your spine. This is going to help you prevent back pain. This is also going to help you sit with better posture and core strength is good for injury prevention in general. All right, back to the middle, relax, and we're going to switch sides. Deep breath in. As you exhale, right knee up, twist to your right now. Again, on your own pace. And keep in mind all the different variations we have here. You can bring your arms straight out to the sides. You can bring your hands behind your neck, interlacing the fingers for a little bit more in your upper back, a little more shoulder opening. Just select whichever one is for you. And remember to exhale as you twist and inhale as you bring it back to the middle. Last one, over to the right. Back to the middle. Okay, moving into a seated chair pose. So I want you to bring your feet about hip width distance or maybe a little bit wider than that. However you feel comfortable as if you were about to stand up. And then lean forward on your chair, bring your hands together and work on pushing down through your feet and starting to lift out of your chair. So modification is to sit in the chair, continue to stay seated, but squeeze your butt and squeeze your thighs as if you would stand up. If you wanna make this a little more challenging, you can lift your butt away from the chair entirely. And if you wanna go a little bit further, you can also extend the arms up. Wherever you are, Focus on the hip engagement. Focus on squeezing your butt muscles, pressing down through your entire feet. So the entire toes, the balls, the heel of the foot. Take one more breath here. This is hard. 
and sit down. All right, great job there. That was challenging. Nice job making it through. Going into seated one leg boat alternations. So grab onto the chair, come up onto your left toes, lifting the knee, and then switch. Right knee up, right toes on the ground, right heel down. And we're just going back and forth here, keeping the toes on the ground for our easier modification, or you can start to lift your feet off the ground to make this more challenging. So we're exhaling to bring that knee up and to go into the full boat pose for the full single leg boat. And to make this more challenging, you can also bring yourself away from the chair if you'd like or lean back on the chair for a little bit of support. That's fine as well. Now from here, move into a boat pose all the way. So I want you to lift your feet off the ground. You can start with your toes on the ground, leaning back against the chair. Hold on to the seat of the chair and then see if you can lift your knees away a little bit higher, feet coming off the ground entirely. And you'll feel the muscles in your abs and your hip flexors, the muscles in the fronts of your hips starting to work. Pretend like you're holding something between your legs here. So squeeze your legs toward one another and see if you can puff your chest out. We're here for 10 more seconds, working on strengthening your hips, your core. This is challenging, so if you need to, you can bring the feet down for a little break. Five more seconds, get a little bit taller. Maybe the knees come up a little bit higher. And release. All right, nice job. We're gonna go into some lunge exercises here. Turn toward the right, plant your right foot, knee above the ankle in your front foot. Bring your left foot back, knee hovering off the ground, toes tucked, and then go ahead and lift your arms overhead. Keep in mind, you can always keep your arms at your sides if you'd like. You can hold onto the back of the chair for a little bit more support, or bring just one arm up. So lots of different variations here for you to try. Push down through your right foot. Get as tall as you can in this seated position for this lunge exercise. Deep breaths. And then from here, take it into airplane. So hips stay the same. I want you to reach forward and up. You can continue to use that chair for support. Think of pulling your chest forward and up. Not quite arching your back, but also not rounding your back down. So try to lengthen through the front of your body. Reach that arm forward and up. If you want to make this more challenging, you can lift out of the chair entirely. If that's something you want to try, you can also keep your hips planted, whichever modification works for you. Fewer than 10 seconds left. Remember to breathe. and release. All right, great job. Those are not easy, these are challenging. So again, take the modification that works for you and feel free to take breaks as we're going through it. Switching to your left side. Ankle is under the knee, right leg comes back. You can start with the knee directly below the hip to make it more intense. You can also bring that foot further back. Start with the right arm up. You can bend that elbow. If you need to, you can also keep the right hand on the hip. Use the back of the chair for support with your left hand. Deep breaths. As you exhale, maybe go a little deeper. And continue to keep your chest lifted. One more breath here. And from here into airplane. So we're hinging forward at the hips keeping both feet planted, abs tight. Try to stay long through your torso. So don't bring your chest toward your thigh, pull your chest forward and up. You wanna aim your chest at the wall in front of you. You're also welcome to lift the arm if you'd like, either one arm or two arms, it's up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable with. This is really good for strengthening your back or strengthening the hips, the core, your spine, also getting some mobility work for your hips. One more breath. 
and release. All right, great job. From here, we're moving into our Warrior Two series. So keep your hips squared forward, turn your right foot to face out, knee over the ankle in the front foot, and go ahead and sit up and to the right on the corner of your chair. Make sure it's stable first, I don't want you to fall. Knee over the ankle in the front foot, torso and hips facing to the outside, arms come out. If you're able, you can also keep your hands on your hips. As much as you can, turn to face your right hand, Keep in mind, you might, be, you might not be able to turn all the way right now. Do your best to look over the right hand. <sighs> Breathing in and out of the nose. You can sink deeper into this if you want. Lead with your hips. <sighs> and then into side angle. Right wrist comes inside the right knee. Left hand to the left hip and lean toward your right. You're gonna feel more weight in your right leg here. Continue to push down through your right foot. Roll back your left shoulder so your chest faces somewhat up and think about pushing the top of your head away from your hips. This is really good for your core and your spine. So you're gonna feel your core working a little bit more here as you lean. Try not to put all of your weight into your right leg. Just use it as much as you need to. Think about it more as a kickstand rather than something to hold your entire body weight. One more breath here. And then back to the middle. Nice job switching sides. Left foot comes out, hips and torso still facing straight forward. Knee over the ankle and the front foot. And again, sit up and forward on your chair to the left. You can also bring your leg straight out. So options here, plant the foot, or you can also bring that leg out and kind of mimic more of a true warrior two with the straight leg. Look over your left middle finger as best as you can. Don't force your neck, but make sure that you are working on that neck mobility, turning to face toward the left and breathe. Deep breaths. Keep the arms up. And then take it into side angle. So hips stay mostly the same. Wrist comes, left wrist comes inside the left knee. Start with the right hand on the hip. Roll back the top shoulder. And if you're comfortable with it, you can bring your right arm up. Remember, top of the head presses away from your hips. So we're trying to get as tall as we can in this seated position and start to work your hips. So really push down through your feet as if you were going to lift up out of the chair and actually stand without the chair. That is an option if you'd like to try it. You can also remain seated. All right, and then release. All right, I hope you enjoyed that clip from Yoga Vitality. For the full program, you can purchase it on DVD on Amazon in the US, the UK, and in Canada. Every DVD purchase comes with free streaming access through the Body by Yoga website. And it's actually less expensive to purchase the DVD and then get the free streaming access. So we encourage you to purchase the DVD on Amazon and leave a review if you really like it. Thanks for watching these videos. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more content uploaded on a weekly basis. And I hope to see you on the Yoga Vitality program soon. Bye.